Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Conqueror. It's a tier 9 British heavy tank and it's located on the north spawn of Redshire under the command of DJ Nick of Red Unicorns. Okay, battle has started, but the gun barrels dropped. Now, that may be because DJ Nick hasn't loaded in. Oh, he has now. Okay, now you can see on this Conqueror that uh, it's got bursting plates around the turret, and that helps with the heat rounds. If they hit the uh, the bursting plate, then they will burst prematurely, and that will lose most of their penetration value as they try to get through that armor and then the armor afterwards. Uh, because the initial jet will be much further away from the actual hole or the actual turret that it's supposed to burn through. Now, the gun is 120 millimeter. It's got 400 alpha damage, penetration of 259. That can go up to uh, 326 if you use the APCR. And it's got the usual loadout, which is um, what you'd expect 20. 11, 4 or 20, 10. Oh, got one into the site, 54, T54. It's a bit far forward than you'd expect, and we just took around from an ISM as well for 419. You want that kill on the uh, T54, you got a lovely round into him for 418, and he's down. Now, we've got an ISM around the corner there as well. In fact, there's two ISMs on the enemy team. I'm just going to side scrape on that one. And it's a good hit. 378 but it's a low roll now, rather than go around the corner oh he has oh puts another one into the ISM that's a high roll this time 407 reload time is 9.53 seconds it's been side scrape oh took around there for 386 ouch but the ISM's gone down now moving up now some might be tempted to actually use that rock. Oh, took around from the LT-432 as well, 192, but took one back. And it's a fair exchange in terms of, we got 332 into him. And he got another one into his engine bay for 443, a high roll. And that 432 has only got two hit points now, poor little. He's, he really is now in a whole heap of trouble because he could be ram killed. 443 in the ISM, that's a good hit into the turret. Fortunately, our T-34 is going to be looking to put rounds into you as well. Oh, he's backing off. Somebody's behind him. It's the T-95 trying to barge his way through. Well, let him do so. He's pushing that ISM wreck out of the way. So he's now going to side scrape using that. We put go for the Coppola on the T-34. No, that one just, just over the top of it. But we bounced around and returned, so that's not so bad. Okay, second chance at that Capola. No. There's the Capola on the ISM. And he does get it into that one. 429. It's a lot more prominent, the Capola on the ISM. The T34 one is sort of like a gentle rise. But here comes the LT432. And goodbye. Two hit points. He really shouldn't have done that. He should have just been sniping at the back. Bad move. Now, can we get a kill shot from this object 257? Lower plate. Yes, got him. That's our second kill. Now, this T-34, he's going to be pressured now because we've got large numbers, but we're going to get the attention, I think. Trying to go for... Oh, went for the upper plate, but it actually went through the wheel, I think, in the upper plate, or did it... Well, he's badly damaged. He's a one-shot for anyone. Now, we're going for the Capola on the ISM. It's a good shot. 364, but it's a low roll. You know, T-34's gone down. There's the T-54 lightweight in the distance. But we've lost sight of him. Now he's using his camo qualities to good effect. Okay, I think what we're going to do now, we've cleaned up on them. There's an object 432 as well, somewhere around. And the 430 stage 2 is actually the one with the 430 with the rear turret. Oh! Enemy RT! And it's a school bus. He missed it! Now it's very difficult. He didn't have much in the way to shoot off, but the Pantera tracked him and now it's put a round into him. And he's getting behind these houses. That's a good decision. There's the 432. 
So it's got the rear mounted turret, a bit like the STG or the ISM. It's going to attract attention from that Pantera again, I think. One nice round into the T-54 lightweight, and he's out the game. Killed by the Object 416. We've got the Object 432 now to deal with. And, oh, we could easily get him with uh, two shots now. For a second, I was going to think we're going to have to put four rounds into him. That was going to take some time to do it. But now we can probably get him with two rounds. Oh, we just took a round from him, and it's quite nasty. We're getting down into the red bed. The Pantera's firing again. And we bounced around from the 432. And we can't see him. He's behind the trees. Using the um, bush mechanic. There he is. Go for the lower plate. Oh, we got him. He must have taken another hit from somebody else. Because it was only 278 hit points. Now, can we get this STG? Yes, we can. But the round doesn't go in. And we bounced around from the Pantera. So the Pantera's probably just up in those bushes over there. I would think so. We're getting closer to him, so we're more likely to take a round. We've only got 143 hit points, so we don't really want to take another hit if we can help it. We might have the high caliber as well. There's a Conway. There's only four enemy tanks left. There's the Pantera. Yes, he was in the bushes. 429, good roll. He's still a two-shot, though. Can somebody else hit him? Yes, they do. He's a one-shot now. And we get him. 382, that's our fourth kill. So there's only two enemy tanks left, and we're too short of the top gun. Can we get it? It's going to be tough, because most of the enemy, are, uh, most of our teammates, the enemy, <laughs> are ahead of us. And it looks like they've got first dibs, and the ISU 152 is taking massive hits. He's a one-shot. And he's gone. And that's game because the other one, the STG, just went down to our third none. So, very good game there by DJ Nick. Let's have a look and see what the end of battle results say. It's an ace tanker by DJ Nick in the Conqueror. He also picked up uh, a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got nine. He got a hand of God for su surviving the battle, having uh, received damage from four different enemy vehicles. He got a duelist badge for taking down two tanks who did damage him during the battle. A fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. And a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his vehicle. On top of this, he got a Spartan medal. Now that's for blocking or ricocheting a non-penetrating shot from an enemy tank when you have less than 10% of his hit, your hit points left. Uh, and I think that was may have been from the Pantera or the STG because um, I think both of them fired and bounced rounds off him when he had low hit points. He also managed to get a Confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by others. A Steel Wolf for blocking the highest amount of damage, at least 11 shots and over a thousand hit points of potential damage. And the High Caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. So a very good set of medals there to get in a heavy tank so let's have a look at the uh, um, team score well we can see they're right at the top of the table 5712 hit points of damage uh, the next highest scorer in that game was the fb4004 stage 2 or concept rather conway um, who managed to get 2374 and after that it was the 110 who managed to get 2099 when it came to kills it was DJ Nick again who got four kills. Then the uh, AMX M4 Mini 50, uh, 49 who managed to get three. And then we've got a couple of tanks who managed to get two kills. And when it came to base XP, it was the Conqueror again. He's got a clean sweep at the top of the table. 1,454 base experience points. 928 for the uh, AMX M4. And then 849 for the 110. Let's have a look at detail. He fired 19 rounds. He got 17 direct hits, 16 penetration, damage of 5,712 hit points, of which 8, 385 were at more than 300 meters. So most of his damage was at close range. He received 14 hits during that game. Six of them were penetration, eight non-penetration, and one hit as a result of splash damage. He also blocked damage of 2,300 hit points. He spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged 10 of the enemy, killed four of them, and also did damage assistance of 1,173 hit points. 
On a premium account, he earned 80,820 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, he ended up with 7,203 credits. He received 2,181 XP, and there was no multiplier, so that's all he took away. But it certainly is a very, very good uh, uh, battle, and it's a very good uh, example of what you can do with the uh, Conqueror. Uh, Ace Tanker, uh, Spartan, Confederate, Steel Wall, and High Caliber, all together in one game. I think the only other thing he missed out on was getting that top gun, but it was a bit difficult for him to get to those last two enemies uh, in time. And so in the in the whole, you know, settling for the four medals you do get is probably better. Um, it would have been uh, really difficult for him to, to get to them. But anyway, um, really good battle. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.